friend and welcome to today's Reiki session. This session is all about a gentle, loving, whimsical night's sleep. Sometimes we just need a little bit of lightness. And that's what we're really calling in today. So if you've been experiencing some, maybe some bad dreams or anything like that, this is a great session just to help lighten up your sleep. I'm going to begin with the selenite wand that's been charging in the sun and in the moon. And I'm just going to move this gently through your aura, just clearing anything from the day or the night that might kind of be lingering or might have attached itself or just kind of unpicking. We have another thunderstorm. This has been such a rainy, thundery season. But hopefully that you find it cozy. So just start to slow your breathing here. And slowing our breathing down together here. I'm going to put this back in the windowsill to continue to soak in all that energy. Okay. How are you feeling today? Hopefully you can feel at least 10% better by the end of the session. I'm going to begin by lighting our intention candle. I'm going to set your intention for the session. This is a myrtle and a fern. Woodwick to candle, myrtle leaf, sage, green oak, spiced nettle, gingerbread, and wood scent notes. So on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered, most aligned self, in loving comfort and in perfect balance, I wish to conduct this Reiki session for a healing night's sleep, gentle, loving, and whimsical.
If you would like to clarify or specify this intention based on what you're moving through today, feel free to use this flame to do so now, and as long as it serves all of our highest, wisest selves, then we'll honor that intention and see it through time and space to where and whenever it's applicable. So if you would like to call this energy and not just for your day or for your evening or for your when you're sleeping <laughs> or for your time of rest, but also maybe you're watching this when you're at work or you're receiving this session during the during the day or during the waking hours for you. Because I know some of you work at night. But if that's the case, you can specify this intention to just help you feel light and relaxed and calm and balanced throughout your day. So we'll kind of leave the drowsy aspect or the sleepy aspect aside and you would just clarify this intention with that in mind. Just as an example, if some of you are like, why does she say that all the time? What does she mean? That's the sort of thing that I mean here. Or if there's something you'd like to add, maybe you're really moving through some deep shadow work or something like that, and you'd just like some support as you move through this quagmire of getting to know yourself. And please feel free to, you know, pause and take some time to really connect with what it is that you'd like to receive from this session. Our intentions are so important, not just for the spiritual aspect of things, but just throughout our entire lives, you know. When we set an intention for the day, that can be so helpful. When we set an intention for, you know, what we want to receive, so helpful. Set an intention for our relationships or the um, situations we're going to find ourselves in. my dog all the time, and um, George, Georgie, and uh, sometimes I show this like long white hair, and sometimes I get her <laughs> sorry this is kind of gross, but sometimes I get her hair caught in my eyelashes, or sometimes in my eye, it's like, <laughs> I did a, a Patreon video recently with Georgie, doing some Reiki on George. <laughs> you can see that her hair is sort of that type of hair that would be really easy to get caught in your lash, especially <laughs> Okay, so we're just doing some really gentle clearing and cleansing. The light, oh, incense, off of our candle. So we're just clearing the day or the night here, a little bit deeper than what the selenite wants. Clearing and cleansing. Clearing and cleansing. So just try to breathe slowly and deeply while we clear and cleanse your aura. Clearing and cleansing. Clearing and cleansing. Okay, okay, okay. 
Join the sacred symbols just outside of your body here. Use a little bit of this oil blend here. This is rosemary and sandalwood. It's easy enough on the rosemary to where that menthol isn't going to keep you awake. But I think rosemary helps us to kind of focus and sometimes when I'm feeling really heavy I just need that assistance of sort of focusing on the light Focusing on the lighter aspects Start to melt into the present moment, sink into the year and now. Just melt, 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 melt. Melt, 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 melt. melt. Melt into the present moment. Sink into the air now. Melt. Let's 
us for getting some hands-on healing. I really want you to focus on expanding. So with your next comfortable breath, really try to expand in the belly. Fill yourself up and imagine that you're filling up with light. With glittering warm light. Imagine that golden light swirling and swimming down into the bowl at the base of your torso and just glittering and swimming all around your root chakra. Hoping you feel nice and safe and protected. so that you can really let go. Sometimes we, we have to feel safe enough to let go. We have to feel protected enough to invite a sense of lightness. Or at least sometimes it's easier. Sometimes <laughs> we have to leap before we look kind of thing with certain aspects of life. It's helpful to invite in the energy of the Fool card sometimes without having the safety net and just kind of being like, ah, free falling. Sometimes that is, that's where you are in life. But for now, we're really focusing on a really comfortable, safe, protected energy, a really solid foundation. And then from there, feeling that solid foundation and then knowing that you're safe to play. And just invite a sense of whimsy. I'm a very whimsical person. I want my house to look like, like a witch's cottage or something. I want it to look like this like whimsical little cottage in the woods. We're just inviting like that energy of sort of like playing in the rain, stomping in puddles, and this gentle, loving sleep. I you hope know, that your dreams, or if you're watching this during the day, maybe just your thoughts that background thoughts, if you notice those, are ones of lightness, are ones that bring a smile to your face. Yeah, I really want you to feel nice and cared for and supported and loved. Just on your next comfortable exhale, just try and release. Release some of that weight.
to move through with this tuning fork. And this is great for lifting your vibration. You can use tuning forks to align your energy. You can use tuning forks to clear, to focus your energy or lift your vibration. You can use tuning forks to connect with a certain chakra, nor resonate on a certain frequency. I'm going to move through with this amethyst cluster. Beautiful stone. There's alignment, there's wisdom. So we're just inviting this foundation of kind of clarity here. I like to see amethyst kind of as uh, I like to imagine really murky water and then if you imagine placing amethyst in the water and it just where you place it it starts to clear and then it spreads clearing all of that murky water Letting it settle and sink to the bottom so you can see more clearly so that that fear can sort of dissipate a little bit. Amethyst is the stone of sobriety for that reason. And I know that in terms of my journey, I'm sober. I've been sober for like eight years now. And um, very often when you're in addiction, you feel like that's the light version of you, but it was only when I became sober that I realized 
how murky I had let the waters get and then moving into this new way of being and existing in the world that's when I started allowing myself to really invite that lightness as I started to feel safe enough and comfortable enough to truly resonate with that and my spirit lightened wanted to clarify that because sometimes we associate sobriety with like this <laughs> kind of you know sober mind seems a little dull like that's what the idea is behind it sometimes in literature sobriety or sober sober minded or something like that is is associated with not being as fun or exciting but i think that once we are sober that's when we can actually really resonate truly from within with who we who we really are and we can invite that sense of lightness into our beings whereas before that we're clinging on to so many things and yeah. if any of you are str struggling with addiction just know that i'm sending you so much love and support and I have a video on addiction and it's very close to my heart. I think that sobriety is such an empowering practice, decision. So, there we go. I'm going to place just a few stones here. It's a green moonstone or garnierite. Very dreamy. Some people use it for manifestation. It's a great stone for uh, love and healing in the heart space. Rose quartz I'm going to invite in for that gentleness and love. Rhodochrosite small piece here again a very loving stone a uh, stone of you can use verticrosite for romantic love so verticrosite and probably emerald would be some of my favorites for kind of calling in or attracting that kind of romance rhodonite small piece of rhodonite great for love in terms of compassion, acceptance, forgiveness, I feel that Rhodonite is a very deep stone. Here we have pink tourmaline, another very light stone. Tourmalines do hold on to energy, so you want to be really intentional about clearing them. You can place them on a little selenite slab or something like that. The pink tourmaline is a great one for inviting that sense of lightness, light under the cherry tree kind of love for yourself, for others. It doesn't have to be romantic, but I really love uh, pink tourmaline. And for good measure, a little bit of howlite. take this clear quartz point and just activate these stones gently activating this woven fan it's a 
Let's do a final clearing here. This clearing and cleansing your aura, helping to remove a sense of peace, gentleness, lightness, clarity. Maybe in your dreams you'll have some answers that you've been seeking. Maybe that whimsical aspect of your dreams will help you sleep through the night and wake up feeling safe, joyful, refreshed. Sweeping away anything that's lingering, any energy that you don't wish to call in at this time. Good, good, good. spraying a little bit of this. This is just a chamomile spray. Very relaxing. Sweet smell like honey. Now, you can stay here as long as you'd like and rest and sleep. We'll leave these stones here. For you to just feel supported, cared for. You are divine, you are connected, you are expressive, you are loved, you are strong, you are creative, you are safe. Okay, my love, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or your night. Take good care of yourself, take good care of each other, and until we meet again, be so, so well. <sighs> Hello, my lovely, lovely patrons.
So sending that love towards you and see if you can just maybe breathe it in. Fill yourself up with that gorgeous loving energy. Imagine the aroma just swirling in and flowing all through your body. and channeled with laser-like precision to help you accomplish tasks and achieve objectives. Cool. This is going to be a really powerful time for you. Two super empowering cards. You have this fiery energy and you have like the earth and the roots. The roots and the ancestors. It's like star and earth and fire. Find as comfortable a position as you can. Maybe close your eyes, you could lie down, whatever feels right for you. And let's begin today with gratitude. Whatever position you find yourself in, bring to heart one thing 